Welcome back to Learn BC. You're here with Jared. We're talking today about some administrative functions. Before I do, can I get you to click like, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and share. Share this out. Let your friends know. Share it with your colleagues and get them to do the same. It's what helps us grow this channel. All right. We're going to talk about environmental transfers. How do you transfer a production environment of BC to a whole nother Microsoft tenant? Let's get started. Okay, here we are. We're in uh, Microsoft Dynamics website. Uh, I'll just minimize that. We're looking at two production environments. I've got our LearnBC environment here, and I've got another environment just sitting here on the right. And I'm wanting to move this sandbox example into the right production environment. So a couple of things. What do you need? Number one, you must be a global admin in both environments. You can't do it without it. Okay, point number one. Point number two, it doesn't have to be the same person. You could be working with two IT admins. You need to exchange the tenant IDs of each other. And then you can do a handshake in between by saying, I'm sending this to you, I'm receiving it, and you accept. The third point here is that you need to be prepared to lose that company. As soon as you transfer it, it will delete from the source. It doesn't leave a copy there. It will be gone. There will be no more production company or sandbox company at, at, at the source. So if you're wanting to send a, a, people a copy, you need to make a copy sandbox first before you do it. The last thing for you here is that you need to be licensed. The two users doing this must have Dynamics 365 Business Central licenses. If there's no license, the transfer will fail. So what does it look like? Well, let's go to hit Environment Transfer, and we're going to click on transfer environment and I want to transfer the example and it says specify the destination intra tenant ID which is your 365 tenant ID so I just go copy it from the destination paste it in there when do you want to do it if I leave it as default here it's going to happen straight away all right I hit transfer and it's gone just like that now on the destination we need to do the same but now we're going to hit receive environment and I need to enter my tenant ID from the source. There we go. We hit next. I've already got it here. It's telling me and I can choose what to name it. I might fix that E example with a capital E. Confirm. The time is 551. We are three minutes in the video on the clock. Let's see how long this takes. We're going to let it run. Um, just the time how I might fast forward it, but it just the time how long it takes. Okay, so we're two minutes in, nothing's happened yet. But if I go into the source location, I can see that it's accepted. So it will run shortly. Five minutes, still waiting.
Right at six minutes, the environment has appeared, and it is it is here as example active, fully done, six minutes done. I'm going to refresh the source, and as you can see, the source database is gone. Your environment's done. If I hit the example, open it up, full production, and this should load straight away. So this transfer from beginning to end, this video has only been running eight minutes at this stage. That is phenomenal. Like, what an awesome process. Um, the key here is to... Uh, keep in context the size of your database, the implication of, you know, files that, you know, how big that database size and, and the distance between where we're transferring it. I just transferred two environments between Microsoft Australia, Microsoft Australia and Eastern Seaboard. So if I was doing the US to Australia, it might be slightly longer. There we have it, guys. So can you transfer a production environment? Absolutely. How do you do it? Man, that was less than 10 clicks. Fantastic. Have a great day.